Hey guys, this is Adam at Hypertech coming at you with another video. This time I'm going to show you guys how to use the React Throttle Optimizer tuning software. Check it out. All right, guys, first things first. Um, we give you a lot of control over your throttle with the software, and it's up to you to make sure you don't do anything silly with it. Don't go out there and get yourself hurt because you've made something silly just playing around. Anyway, now that that's out of the way. First of all, what we're going to do is uh, you'll probably want to download one of our stock curve sets. Um, this is the easiest way to see what we've done, and it's a great jumping off point to see the how small of a change we made to make a huge difference. Um, so we're going to open the curve set here. I've downloaded the performance one. All right, and there we are. This is the this is your curve right here. Um, this is the stock throttle curve, and this is what we did for our track setting right there. Uh, as you can see, it did not go up very high, and the track setting is our most aggressive setting. Um, the way you're going to want to make changes, um, or the easiest way to make changes, is to not mess with that curve at all, because you can go in here, you can drag, you click on that, drag it, move it up and down. You also see this equalizer bar right here, press up and down to change that. Uh, the easiest way to, uh, to make changes is to change your knob step size. That's when you're clicking this thing up or down. It's how big the steps are that you're changing. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. When you go to display mode gains on graph, go to true. These are the steps that we take. So if you take it, turn it up for, you're following this line right here. If you're turning it down for, you're following that line right, right there. Anyway, let me show you what a difference this can make. If you're wanting to see a bigger change, then you can go in and let's say we'll change this value to 1.5. Makes a pretty big difference there. We go all the way up to two, it's a pretty huge difference. So be careful with what you're doing there. Um, you can change it all the way up, uh, but that's gonna be a pretty drastic change. <laughs> like I said, make small adjustments and uh, figure out what works best for you before you go out there and uh, do anything crazy with it. Um, next is going to be the, uh, the smoothing factor here. This is a, a cool functionality that we did. Um, it's primarily for off-road vehicles, but it can be used with manual transmissions and some high horsepower applications too. Um, smoothing factor. Uh, essentially, say you're going down the road in your Jeep uh, or going down a trail in your Jeep. You hit a bump, you bounce up and down, you'll bounce the throttle. You know, as you rock back and forth, your throttle's bouncing. Well, smoothing factor, uh, what that does <clears throat> is it detects the extra inputs and it attempts to pull some of those inputs out so you end up with a smoother ride. Um, smoothing factor is the amount of smoothing that takes place. Um, the smoothing time is the amount of time that the smoothing is applied. So you can go in, you can play with that, you can change it. Uh, it's pretty neat. Um, let's take a look here. I'll go ahead and turn this off. Uh, Another thing is, is these are the uh, these are the curves right here. Uh, you've got track, sport, street, economy, uh, and of course there you know there are different ones on off road like uh, you know crawl and other things like that. Uh, we also have the toe settings. Um, but if you want to change the name of these settings right here, what we can do is we can go into preferences, go to advanced mode. Let's save that. All right, and um, advanced mode. So you've got your curve set notes right here. This is where you can change the name of the entire curve set if you'd like. Um, this is where you can select which one you want. It's another way to select it anyway. Um, then you have the individual curve notes here, which are the curve names. So you can adjust the curve, you know, you can adjust the name of it depending on, say I wanted sport and then I wanted track and say I wanted to train street to track plus. You could definitely do that. And um, anyway, you've got also down here, if you'd like to compare your, um, your curves here to, a, uh, to another curve. So say I'm looking at sport right here and I want to compare that to the economy. There we go. You see that? It's your economy right there. You got your sport right there. Makes it pretty easy. And you can, of course, change these all to true. All right, if you'd like to. So you can see everything. Um, let's go to 
Let's go to preferences, turn it back to basic mode. Uh, one of the things you'll want to do at the very beginning um, is you'll want to save curve set, save, you're going to save as right here. Um, this will allow you to create your own name for it, and uh, if you want to restart from scratch, you won't have to re-download our, uh, our stock curves there. So I'm going to change this to my React. There we go. Got that saved. Okay. Now then, um, you can also go here. Uh, this is create new curve set. So this will create you one from just a basic, um, a basic stock throttle curve right there. Uh, if you don't want to use one of our, uh, if you don't want to use one of our presets, you can also read the curves from the React that you have. So if you've got your React off road plugged up, you like how that is, you can just read the curves off that, and uh, it'll put it in the system here and let you edit them. Uh, when you are finished, you can write curve set to React. So this is when you've got your React box plugged in right here, and you will write it to the React, and you'll be good to go and put it in your car. Um, the next option, you can import and export single curves. So say you have one that you've been playing with, and to say you've got your street tune just the way you want it, and uh, you want to import, or you want to send that and save just that one, then you can definitely do that. Uh, another cool thing about this, when you save it, you can take it, put it on a flash drive, do whatever you want, and um, you can show it to your friends. You can have them, if they've got a React, you can put the, um, you know, you can put your, your throttle curves into their React, which is really neat. Um, if you're a part of, a, say, a Jeep club, and um, you would like to, you'd like to share it with everybody, you can take that, toss it on some thumb drives, show it to everybody. They can use it on their Reacts. Uh, it's a very powerful software. It's, um, it's a lot of fun to use, and uh, I think you guys are really going to like it. All right, guys, that's all I've got for today. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or need help with tech support, you can contact us at the number that I'll post below. You can also contact us on Facebook or Instagram. Thank you, guys.